As many of you know, going into week 17, the NFC East wasn't clinched by the Washington football team, the New York Giants, or the Dallas Cowboys. The Washington football team had the highest chance of making the playoffs because all they had to do was beat the Eagles on Sunday night football. The New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys were also in contention. These two teams happened to play each other week 17. The winner of this game would then go on to watch the Washington football game on Sunday night football. And if the Washington football team lost, that team would have made the playoffs. And that team would have been the New York Giants. But something just didn't look right. The Philadelphia Eagles started benching their players on the third quarter, started taking the good players out. They wanted to see Nate Sudfield play because why? Uh, not really sure. But in the third quarter, when this team easily had a chance of winning this game and giving the New York Giants a home playoff game, they started to tank and they purposely started to tank. So the question asked why? There are two answers to this question, and one of them is probably more significant than the other. So I'm going to give you the lesser reason right now. So I'm sure the Eagles staff organization, Doug Peterson specifically, thought the Cowboys were going to beat the Eagles. And why would the Eagles want the Cowboys to make the playoffs? And obviously, you know, that's an excuse for them to put in Nate Sudfeld during the second half see how good he performs because of course they don't want the Cowboys to make the playoffs and if there's another team they hate it's the New York Giants they don't hate the New York Giants as much as they hate the Cowboys and I'm pretty sure they like the Washington football team more than they like the New York Giants so with that being said why would they want the New York Giants to make the playoffs over the Washington football team just another excuse to bench Jalen Hurts the starters and to purposely lose during the fourth quarter. Now, what were some signs this team wanted to lose? Well, number one, straight up, they just wanted to bench their starters. Um, number two, this team fumbles the football when running the ball, and of course, Washington recovers. This was in such you know coincidental time during the fourth quarter. And number three, the funniest of all, Washington running back fumbles the football, the Eagles defender walks up to it, puts his hands out for it. He's like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I have to tank. He reaches his hand back, doesn't even go for the football, and lets Washington recover. The Eagles would have had the ball in field goal range. They could have tied the game, and they could have scored a touchdown potentially. But they didn't go for the fumble recovery because they didn't want to win. Now, what's the other reason? What's the other reason for tanking, for losing this game on purpose? And this is the most obvious, the most important. If they lost this game, they would have had a better draft pick than they would have if they won. I believe the Philadelphia Eagles would have had the ninth or 10th pick in the draft if they won this game, okay? But if they lost this game, they would have had the fifth or sixth pick in the draft. Well, let's see how much of a difference that is. That's three to four picks. And of course, they're eyeing out Devontae Smith. Now, here are my opinions on this matter. Uh, there are two big opinions. One, if you're a Giants fan, and one, if you if you don't really care. So, number one, if you're a Giants fan, you're, you're probably really, really angry right now. You're going to call this move by Doug Peterson, you know, cowardly. Um, honestly, I agree with you. I don't really see the purpose of purposely losing a football game. I think it's the lowest of the low. Um, I honestly, like, I don't see teams losing on purpose unless it's for, a, like, a intentional resting your starters week 17 if you're going into the playoffs. But if you purposely lose for a better draft pick, it's honestly just embarrassing in my opinion. It's the lowest of the low. And there's a reason why the Philadelphia Eagles are the worst franchise in the NFL. And they always have been. The other opinion is, of course, tank for draft picks. That's so obvious. Uh, purposely lose the game. We need better draft picks. We have the potential to draft one of the best receivers coming out of college in a long time. Uh, Devonta Smith. He looks incredible coming out of Alabama. Uh, the Eagles wide receiver core. It's not the best in the league, of course. 
and I guess there's a reason why you should draft him. Honestly, if I'm an Eagles fan, I'm drafting an offensive lineman because, you know, it's just absolutely garbage. But still, still a good pick. I understand. Tank for the draft pick. But, you know, if you want to tank, you might as well tank from the beginning of the year, like the Jaguars and the Jets. I'm not sure if the Jets tanking was intentional. Probably wasn't. But the Jaguars, for sure, that was straight up tanking. But don't make it obvious. Like, come on. Like, it was so obvious the Eagles could have easily won that game against the Washington football team. Um, during the fourth quarter, the Eagles had so many opportunities to score on turnovers. And at the end of the game, Ron Rivera goes up to Doug Peterson, shakes his hands, and says, thank you. Thank you. You want to know why? Because Washington football team didn't deserve to win that game. And of course, you know, you know, he thanked the Eagles for purposely losing it. Um, I guess the Eagles don't hate Washington football team as much as they hate the Giants. Makes sense. But if you're asking me what's my opinion on this, like I said, I think this is just, you know, a weak move by Doug Peterson in the Eagles organization. I don't see a purpose of tanking in the middle of a game, especially when you have the opportunity to win. It's honestly just embarrassing. Look at a franchise like the Pittsburgh Steelers with Mike Tomlin, a team that hasn't had a losing record in 13, 14, 15 plus years. And it's because that is what a good coach looks like. A good coach that's prideful, a coach that doesn't lose games, a coach that's motivated on the sole purpose of winning football games, just like Belichick, just like every other good coach in the league. Doug Peterson, weak move. He knows they're not going to do good the entire season. It's just a horrible start. So might as well show that Washington football team were capable of easily beating them and then bench our starters and give them the free win. I think it's just embarrassing. It's a weak move. But I honestly want to see your opinions down below. I see both sides of, you know, the argument. If it was weak or if it was, you know, intentional only for draft picks. I understand both sides. Uh, you know, don't flame me for not understanding because I do. But that's it. Comment down below your thoughts on this manner. Thanks for watching. Adios.